it's Crazy Van Girl Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the next episode of Obi Wan Kenobi, the fourth episode, part four of this incredible show, guys. Oh my! You guys saw my reaction last time for this amazing show. I went haywire. This show is so so good. Absolutely love what we've gotten so far, and so excited to delve into more. Um, Darth Vader. Mm. Oh, Jesus. So good. Like, mmm. It's oh, just so good. And also, I've just been having so many great conversations with my friends about sort of like Anakin's story and Obi-Wan and stuff. It's so good, dude. I love I love Star Wars so much. Uh, I think it's a bit of an understatement, but it's honestly so good. Also, I want to say thank you for the amount of support that has been coming off the last reaction. <laughs> honestly, I was like, ah, whatever. Probably nobody will see it or whatever. Um... And then suddenly, like, the day after, I just checked my phone and then boom, it's up to, like, 1,000.5 and then 2,000 and 3,000 now. And, like, you guys are insane. So thank you so much for that. It means the world. Um, and, yeah, let's make some cool content. <laughs> I'm so awkward when it comes to these things. But thank you so much for the, the support on that episode. I really appreciate it. But enough of that. Let's just jump straight into this because I'm so excited. So remember to do the like, subscribe, comment stuff. And yeah, let's jump straight into this, guys. Oh, God. Why? Don't show that to me. Oh. Oh. Jesus. All the burns he's gotten. No. Oh. 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 They're both not feeling so great. Oh no! Oh, it's Leia. Oh, his biggest priority. I am a princess of Alderaan. <laughs> oh, I love you, Leia. That's cute. Oh. You have no idea what the Empire is capable of. Obi. I had a wife once, and the Inquisitors found her in it, so I know exactly what the Empire can do. I was gonna say. Fortress Inquisitorious. It's impenetrable, Wade. How far down do you think it goes? Impenetrable? <laughs> Cal Kestis could get in there, sir. I think Obi Wan could. Your body's not the only thing that needs to heal, Ben. The past is a hard thing to forget. You just need time. That's what. Yes, girl! Can't be forgotten. You care about that. No, Leia. I don't know anything about her past. <laughs> yes, Queen. Well, let's think a little bit harder, shall we? Oh, Raven knows. Oh. The instant change as well, from the whisper to the... Don't look suspicious, don't be suspicious. This isn't your sector. Being officer, and you will address me as sir. Perhaps I should just inform the Grand Inquisitor of your insolence. Yes, Queen. Yeah, my queen. I love her so much. Oh, he's swimming in. <laughs> Reminds me of the episode of um when he's on Kamino in um Clone Wars. That's a beautiful shot. It's so simple, but I love it. No. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Let me see some identification. I mean, what do you expect doing that in that room? But I know they were desperate. Oh. Did you hear that? Just, you know, go back to doing Stormtrooper stuff. You know? <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, thank the Lord. Don't. No, Leia. I'll have to tell my other friends. <laughs> I'll be like pain. I'll never tell you where they are. It's time to make those tears bleed. Let's go. Oh, Reva. Oh my God, that looks like the same machine that Trilla was put in from Fallen Order. My God. Help! Help! Somebody help! Please! Oh my God. Oh, he's from Clone Wars. Does it embrace the Empire? 
Oh, okay, girl. Oh my god. Are they frozen or are they dead? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Thank god. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! That was sick! Oh my god! Opie's coming back! Why had Opie back together again? Oh, come on! Oh, yes! All the same! Oh my god, the, the unneeded, like, twirl, so Revenge of the Sith. Oh, Leia! <laughs> Oh my god! A call? I feel like that's a call to, um, Fallen Order. Come on. Oh! Run, 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 run! Oh! So good. So good. Oh, yeah, that- Oh! Look. Oh no. What? Oh, sick. <gasps> She's in trouble. Oh, that. Oh. Hello. Oh my god, he's coming. <laughs> Put a track on the ship. Assume the location of the network and Kenobi will be around. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Kenobi is all that matters. There can be no mistakes. Goes. It will follow. Leia. Dude, every time I see him, oh, what a shot, dude. I love the show. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my god, I feel like that's the same look that Arby gives Anakin. Oh my god, stop. Oh! I was having a feeling it was that, because she was playing around with it so much. It's like not Reva to get obsessed with it. Um, god damn it. Whew, okay. So, this episode wasn't as long as the usual episode. This was 30 minutes, or 32 minutes. And I thought it was good. I honestly thought it was a great... Because I say this all the time, and I won't lie, I just checked on Twitter, and goddamn people, I talk about this all the time. In writing, there's always a dip in the story. Because it builds like this, and then it goes like this, and then it goes up like this, and then it goes like this. And so, that's what's going to happen next episode. I'm praying, please. So, this is sort of the calm, but also a little bit of a steep, getting ready for the next part of the story. Um, and so... That's why I like this episode a lot. There was little details here and there, um, and also just building up sort of what's going to happen in the next episode, which means it's the chase for not only Obi-Wan, but for the Rebellion, the early start. Well, not early. It's like five years into the... Re oh, is it ten years? I can't remember. Five years or ten years into the Rebellion. I saw... Hmm, I saw a lot of people complaining about how there was no action in this episode compared to the last one, how there was no... Um, cool scenes and just how bad this episode was i honestly love this episode it may feel like a bit of a filler episode but i feel it's a great um midpoint for this series especially because of i guess like climatic it is in the show like it's very climatic and so i feel like the big big moments is gonna happen in the next two episodes i hope please like don't let me down deborah ciao please um so that's why and i feel like with this episode it could have gone longer but like why drag it out and be too long and be in in that in that sort of area because i feel like if they did push it to a 40 50 mark what are they gonna do in there like 
exact like you know so i feel like it makes perfect sense for this to be the moment i know a lot of people including myself i won't lie really wanted flashbacks to clone wars um and especially with chris hayden christensen taking on the mantle as anakin again and then obviously obi-wan being young obi-wan but i'm praying that <laughs> we do get flashbacks because i would love that and someone said what's the point of hayden christensen being vader and no anakin it's because Anakin's not not that Anakin's gone but Anakin is Darth Vader Darth Vader is Anakin and that's what he is now and so in a way it's perfect because the fact that Hayden also a lot of people were talking about how the way Hayden struts and I was like he's made to, to strut in that Darth Vader suit so that's me I'm happy with it and the way he strutted in this episode god damn I nearly got up from my chair again like last week <laughs> but honestly I I actually really like this episode because we we're, we're with Obi-Wan in this episode we're walking through this like like this um what is it called um my brain's not working because I've been working like this base and you're trying to sneak through everywhere it's like a video game it's like Fallen Order what you have to do in Fallen Order if you guys haven't played it Jedi Fallen Order I haven't played it but Michael my best friend and manager let me watch him play it because at the time I couldn't afford the game and some other games so he, he let me watch him play it and just so good and just mm, it's great and same with this one it felt like you were walking through it with everyone sneaking through passing the stormtroopers and just yeah i mean there was a lot of girl power in this as well which i love because female representation is so good <laughs> reva was amazing i absolutely love her she's so good and i love how like um unsettling she is and also just how brutal she is because i think that's why that, I think that's the point of her character. She is not like Darth Vader. She's not like any of the other brothers and sisters in the Inquisitors. Um, she's not um, poised as the rest of them. She's very like... Um, what's that word? I don't know how to... Ugh, my brain's not working, but there's a word for it. She's not as like refined as the rest of them. And she doesn't know how to act in terms of the way that they usually act. So she's very, like, unpolished in that sort of way, which I really like. It's refreshing. And also Tala, I think that's how you need to say her name. Oh, she was also in Game of Thrones with Pedro Pascal. That's where... Actually, I've seen her in other stuff before this, but when she was in Game of Thrones, and I, <laughs> when Pedro was in it as well as... um, What's his name? Oberyn. I literally feel like that's, like, my bi awakening, my bi curiosity. I was just like... <sighs> What is this man and what is this woman? Like, why? Like, oh, I won't lie. They're both very attractive people. But also just her in general is just an incredible actress. Loved her in this episode. And, the, and I also just love the fact that she was talking into that thing while she was in front of the others. But I, I don't know why. I just find it so, like... I don't know, perfect in a way, because, like, they're all so, like, not dumb, but they're all just like, oh, what is she doing? Ah, it's fine, she's probably just getting information for <laughs> the the Empire, which I love. It's so interesting, it's just funny. And I feel like that sort of reminds me of, like, the other sort of, like, um, trilogies because of the fact that when other Jedi, like, sort of dress up as, like, stormtroopers or sort of, like, these, like, higher-ups... It makes sense. And even, like, throwing back to Mandalorian, it makes sense for me. That's why I love it so much. I feel like fans just need to settle down a bit. Just, like, you need to take the piss a bit. And also just, like, oh, dude, the action scenes in this. I love the scene where the room goes dark and then all, all of a sudden the lightsaber lights up. Oh, it's beautiful. And then that scene in the hallway when everyone's like deflecting all of it and that scene where all the stormtroopers are just floating in the water mm, just so good <laughs> and also we cannot go past this episode without talking about the jedi in those like maple crystal things like what the hell um i know like i ugh, it'll be really sad if they're all dead but i think they're all dead and they're just trophies and also wasn't that I think, I can't remember his name, Sin, Sin Noob? I can't, I can't remember his name. Yes, I was right, oh, Terra, his or her, is it a he? His, Terra, we gotta respect the pronouns, Terra, uh, Terra, so we'll just call him Terra because I don't want to say his last name wrong, but, dude, oh my god, and the little baby Jedi too, like, what the hell, oh, the youngling, that makes me sad, but yeah, I feel like things are gonna ramp up real quick because look at how terribly upset Vader got the fact that Obi-Wan was gone and obviously like that he got away. Reva's very lucky indeed that she put that track otherwise she would be like 
<laughs> I'm really happy with this episode, personally. People can call me, like, I don't know, amateur or whatever, because I saw people saying, like, if you like this episode, you're amateur, you don't know what Star Wars is, and I'm like, what the hell, dude? Like, grow up. Like, this is a show. If you like it, then you like it. If you don't like it, then fair enough. But I, personally, really liked it, so... What can you do? <laughs> Can't please them all. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode four, part four. And again, I personally enjoyed it. I really liked it. I feel like some points, I won't, I won't lie, there were some points where it was a bit slow, but overall, I enjoyed what was in this episode, and I just hope. I think one thing that Star Wars and even Marvel need to take into account to not just do six episodes, because I feel like that is also the formula that sort of messes it up a bit. I think they got it with um, WandaVision, where it was, I think that was eight or nine episodes. I think that they should do ten instead for all shows, because I feel like that gives the show time to breathe, there's no need to rush it, and just... That's my one thing with all these shows, is that they should be longer. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop here. So thank you guys again so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, Gringo, out. Woo!